Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the basic install of GAM Advanced XTD3. First, we need to go to GitHub and grab ourselves a copy of the application we're going to use. On the right hand side, select XTD3. From here, you can see all the information about this program. Select Installation. Select Downloads. Go to GitHub Release Pages. The latest version shows up at the top. Scroll. I'm installing on a Windows 10 X 64 bit. So I will use the 64 zip. Select it. It'll download. You'll see this message down here. You have to tell it to keep. Click the arrow again. Say show in folder. Right click. Choose extract. Extract again. Right click it again. Cut it. Put it on your C drive. I'm going to rename mine to GAM Advanced all caps XTD3. Let's now take a look and see what's inside the folder by default. It's always good to know what you're starting with. Before we begin, make sure you have API access granted. To check that, open up your admin panel, select security, scroll down to API reference and ensure enabled API access is checked. Let's next go to run our very first command. We'll watch this directory here. This is the user I'm installing GAM under. The command we run, GAM space config space verify. You'll notice that it produced a .gam folder over here. This .gam folder contains our GAM config GAM cache and a couple of other files. It's always good to know what files are inside this folder. Next up, we need to create a GAM project. Let's keep an eye inside the .gam folder, see if any files are created. We type the command GAM create project. Type in your super admin email address. This will open our browser. So I am currently signed in as super admin. My browser opens. I say allow. Then I go back to the command prompt. We'll watch it create the project, and then we will find ourselves going in and out of the command prompt window and the browser window. When complete, it will give us more instructions. So first up, we need to go to this URL and my browser. Next up, it says, click the blue create credential button, choose OAuth client ID. OAuth client ID. Next, it will tell us to go to the configure consent screen button. We choose that. It tells us to, to give an application name and I called my GAM Advance XTD. I copy this. We save it. Come back. After we hit save, choose other. Enter our desired value. Other. I'm putting in the same name I just previously used on the last screen. Select Create. Next, it tells us we need to copy the client ID. Copy the client ID. Come back, edit, paste, push enter. Then we need the client secret. Copy. Come back, edit, and we paste that. Click OK to close the OAuth client pop-up. Click OK, we go back, press Enter when done, and that's it. The GAM project is ready to use. Remember, this is the GAM project and not using GAM itself. Now if we go back and take a look inside our .gam folder, we'll see a couple new files. OAuth2 service.json was created when we initialized the project, and client underscore secret.json was created when we finished creating the project. Next, we have to do GAM OAuth create. We can continue watching over here. We see a new file that's been created. Press C, continue. Once again, put in your super admin email account. This will push us back to the web browser. Sign in with your super admin account. Scroll to the bottom. We have lots of scopes here. Click allow. Go back to your command prompt window and you can see a new file has been created, oauth2.txt. Next, what we want to do is run the check service account. So pick any valid email address in your domain. And here's the command, 
gam user valid email address check space service account one word run that and it will come back with a bunch of fails and next what we need to do is copy this url that they give us copy that go back to your browser paste the url we'll see if it takes us to the right place and it did then what we need to do is go back we need this client name paste the client name here then we need to go back and grab our scopes come back here paste your scopes authorize and you can see the settings have been saved let's go back and run our check service account command again use the up arrow and we can see that our scopes are now all being passed since everything has passed let's now run our first gam command gam version there you have it let's do a quick review where files have been stored we have our .gam folder that contains all our configuration files and then we have our advanced gam folder should we ever need to update gam we simply have to replace this single file gam.exe is the only file that needs to be updated when you get new versions in closing here's a few optional settings that you can add into your gam.cfg file if you're going to edit this you should use a program such as notepad plus plus open it up and here we can see all the current values and these are the additional values that we could set to save us some time down the road still have a question remember you can search out answers or ask new questions on the google apps manager form i hope you found this video informative